we're gonna do some practice identifying the types of reactions here. These, react, uh, these reactions are going to be unbalanced, so please uh, ignore that, but we are going to just go ahead and type them. What kind of reaction is this? So I have two single elements coming together. Now these are diatomic elements, but they are not bonded to anything else, so they are going to be referred to as single. So we have two singles coming together to form one thing. This is going to be a synthesis reaction. I have two or more reactants coming together to form a single product, so that is going to be synthesis. Next, I have sodium chloride plus diatomic fluorine going to sodium fluoride plus chlorine, which should have been diatomic. And as we are looking at this here, I see a couple plus a single going to a couple plus a single. And I see that chlorine and fluorine have switched places. So this is going to be my home wrecker type, which is going to be my single replacement reaction. Next, I have uh, lead to hydroxide adding with uh, hydrogen chloride going to water and lead to chloride. So I have two couples and I'm forming two couples. Okay, so I am definitely not a synthesis reaction. I am not a decomposition reaction. Can't be a single replacement reaction. This isn't combustion because carbon dioxide and water were not the products. I only have water here. Um, so I am left with double replacement, okay? So you can also think through the type this way. If you can't immediately know what the type is, just eliminate types that definitely don't make sense until you come to one that may. So next I have aluminum bromide, adding with potassium sulfate, going to potassium bromide and aluminum sulfate. So here again, I cannot be a synthesis reaction. I have a plus on the right hand side. I also cannot be a decomposition reaction because I have a plus on the left hand side. I'm not gonna be a single replacement reaction because neither of my reactants are single elements alone. And I cannot be a combustion reaction because I have no hydrocarbons, no oxygen as my reactant, and no carbon dioxide or water as my product. So this again must be a double replacement reaction. Okay, then I'm going to have uh, CH4 plus O2 goes to CO2 and H2O. Now again, I look like I might be a single replacement reaction. I have a couple plus a single person, but when I look over to my reactants or my product side, I see that I end up with two couples. Hmm, I had a single person breaking up a molecule and getting with both of the members of that molecule? Sounds like a hot mess to me. That's because this is going to be a combustion reaction. Okay, next I'm going to look at C3H8 plus O2 goes to carbon dioxide and water. This is going to look very, very similar to me from the previous one. I can actually see that I have oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. Those all three are lining up perfectly, which also tells me that this has to be combustion because combustion is the only one that shares three out of the four members of the reaction. So that's also going to be combustion. Last one here, I have uh, phosphorus plus diatomic oxygen going to uh, diphosphorus pentaoxide. And so I have two single people forming a couple. This is going to be a synthesis reaction.